Today on Exploring Limitations, I'm going to show you how to use an amplifier to go from this tone to this tone. Here we go. Those of you who know me know I love direct bass directly plugged into the Tascam Porta Studio, but there's a precedent for that. I mean, James Jamerson, famously of Motown fame, went straight into the board. So many great bass tones are just straight into the board. It is one of the uh, benefits of being a bass player. You could just show up somewhere and stick in your bass and voila, you are probably working with a great tone, with a great engineer, and you're done. But you can have fun with amplifiers, and that is what we are doing today. I also love effects, effects pedals. Here's B-roll of the table of effects pedals that are here in the studio. These can sound great DI as well, but you really can add tons of character by going through an amp or a speaker and pushing air into a microphone. It's a fun, funny concept, but the tone totally changes. It's not the same as plugging directly in. And as a bass player, I still love to get the DI signal and blend that in. In order to do this, you only need a couple of things. Number one, a way to split your bass signal, DI, and uh, to the amp. The second thing you need is a way to record the amp. So a microphone. Let me tell you exactly what I'm doing today. Real quick. Bass, going into channel one on the Tascam mixer. That's your DI signal. That's gonna be recorded to tape. So I'm using the Tascam mixer's effect send. I'm taking the signal from the bass and I have the effect send all the way cranked and this cable is going all the way to the other side of the room over to the radial reamp box. I love radial. It makes me think of Canada, which makes me think of maple syrup. And you can see we've got some pedals here, and that's going into my studio partner, Eric's Ampeg Amp. And we have that Shure microphone, Shure SM7B. It's a fantastic microphone, but you don't need to use a $400 microphone. You could use a Shure 57. Those things are freaking phenomenal. And I've got that coming back here into channel five on the mixer. Right now, you're just hearing my direct signal in channel one. Now check out when we bring in the fader on channel five. Now the thing that's sick and awesome about what's happening right now is you're getting the blend of the direct signal, which gives you all the bottom end. Here, let me even boost the lows on this. And all the character and obviously the effects are coming from the amp sound. I can mess with the EQ there. Let's make it uh, telephonic for a second. Let's hear what that sounds like. possibilities are endless. I was just working on the next Nation track. And we dialed in this bass tone. So that's this is what it sounds like. I'm going to just track a little bit of it on a different track just to give you an example. First, I'm going to do it with just the DI signal, and then I'm going to blend in the affected signal. Yes! So what we just did there was blend the mic signal and the DI and totally commit to the sound on a single track. That is my favorite way, that is our favorite way of recording music is dialing in the sound and just going for it. But if you have a reamper like this radial DI, you can record the clean bass tone and now you can reamp it. And while you're reamping, you can experiment with the pedals and dial in something really specific. 
while you're not even playing the instrument anymore. Let's show you how to do that. Here we go. Here we are over in amp land. Uh, we haven't been here yet, but here's, uh, here's the amps and here's the pedals and that tone, I'm gonna show you how it is. So Colin, if you can hit play, that'd be great. Yeah. So, got the cue balls, bass filter, and that delay. <laughs> so we can, we can get pretty funky. Let's check it out with some reverb. Uh, let's uh, try adding a little park fuzz to this. <laughs> yeah, let's go wacky vibrato. Yeah. Extreme. Last but not least, let's add some wacky whammy to that original tone. Back to you, other made on tape man. So there you have it. Again, the possibilities are endless, endlessly fun. I hope you learned something today and that this inspires you to go out there and make your own cool bass tones or drum machine tones or guitar tones or whatever. Reamping is fun, splitting your signal is fun, blending those. DI and the amp sound together is fun and committing to the sound is fun and then not committing and doing fun stuff with the signal is also fun. Everything's fun. If you're not having fun making and playing music, then I don't know what to tell you. It's great to be back. There's tons more content coming in 2023. Please check out all the links below in the description. Original music, Patreon is there. Love you all. And with that, as always, is peace and be good to each other. One of my favorite pieces of gear for the Tascam Porta Studio is this little imp. It's an impedance transformer. So it's XLR in, quarter inch out. And basically that allows you to take any microphone and plug it into your Tascam because they don't have XLRs on this version. And uh, it gives you a hot enough signal to where it sounds great. It's workable.